Hey there, Gemini, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your mid-month reading. This is going to be a reading for October 15th through the 31st. We're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Gemini, if you enjoyed this reading and you want even more free extended readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else, and you guys have been loving them. Okay, Gemini, main energy for your reading this month is the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you get the Queen of Swords. This is you. You're choosing to put an end to something. I don't know if you're choosing to end a connection. I don't know if you're choosing to end a phase in a connection. I'm not really sure. Um, there is definitely love here. I can't really tell, though. It doesn't seem like it's coming to an end, so that's why I don't feel like you're ending this connection. It seems more so like you're choosing to put an end to like a difficult phase or some confusion when it comes to this connection. I'll explain in a second. Um, your person can be any sign. I don't see a specific sign showing up here. In the recent past, you get the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. There's happiness. It's an exciting new beginning for you internally with somebody else. And you're showing me all I can do here is just stress out. All I can do is just be up in my head and think and think and think and think and catastrophize. These are beautiful energies that have nothing to do with this. So we're going to see in a minute why this is showing up for you in the recent past. In the current situation, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Wands. It's almost like you, for your own stability, for your own, like, I need to feel grounded and cared for and, like, taking care of myself, you need to detach. You need to, like, emotionally disconnect for some reason. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to clarify this in a minute. But it's almost like in order for you to be able to feel grounded and stable, you have to emotionally detach. And that is what allows you to come in and enjoy the positive energy, especially of the Page of Wands. We're going to clarify the current situation. This is definitely something internal for you. In the near future, you get the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the High Priestess. Deep down, you know that you love this person. You know this person loves you, right? The love goes both ways here. You know this, but you're also showing me I'm resisting it. There's almost like this, this internal desire for me to like not allow myself to feel or not allow myself to accept like this is love and this person loves me just as much as I love them. Which again, very interesting way of looking at the energies because who doesn't want to feel love? I have a feeling this reading is going to be very transformative for you, Gemini. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So let's take a look at the Ten of Swords, see what that's about. Ten of Swords is clarified by the King of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Fool. Yes. So there's a lot of very, very beautiful energy coming in for you. You're putting an end to something which was very difficult, very uncomfortable, possibly even painful for you this month. And you're showing me what I'm doing is I'm bringing in love. I'm allowing love to enter. Granted, it is the Knight of Pentacles. It is a slow process. You're not just diving headfirst into this pool of love like, oh, okay, sweep over me. No, you're allowing love to kind of very slowly creep in. You're allowing yourself to really feel it. But it's beautiful because it's very healing for you. And with this healing energy comes a lot of new beginnings. The Fool is very much an energy of like wiping the slate clean and starting from scratch with only the best and the most positive energies. And that's what's really showing up for you in this reading. Very healing energy, very transformative energy, but also kind of like washing away all difficult energies and bringing in very positive very beautiful energies so I love that seems like it's going to be a very positive reading especially if you are looking for love or you are in a connection so let's see let's clarify the eight of swords in the recent past Eight of Swords is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Knight of Pentacles. So there is an energy here of loss. You either broke up with someone, you lost someone, um, a connection. You're, you're missing someone or something here in the recent past. And that's really what's on your mind. But it's not the loss. It's not like, oh, I miss them so much. And that's what I can't stop thinking about. No. What you're really focused on is how long it's taking you to get over this loss, to get over this connection. It's kind of like you're showing me like I expected myself to just be done with it already. Like we broke up a month ago. I should be over it. I should be done. Why am I still missing them? Why am I still thinking about them? Why do I still feel the loss of this connection? That's really what's bugging you. That's really what's on your mind here in the recent past is the fact that it's taking you again. And this is your perception. This is based on your imaginary clock that you've set for yourself it's taking you longer than you expected to be able to move past this um, and that's kind of stressing you out in the recent past where you're like I thought I'd be over this by now why am I still focused on this why do I still feel this why do I still even care 
Let's take a look at the Ten of Cups in the recent past. Ten of Cups is clarified by the Two of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Beautiful. So there is a soul connection showing up here for you. You're not there yet. You kind of know. You're like, I know that at some point, right, I'm going to get into a very balanced energy within a soul connection with somebody else. Obviously, you're not going to be in a soul connection with yourself. But it's very much an energy of like, I'm not there yet, but I know it's only a matter of time until I get there. And you're kind of experiencing this happiness in advance. This is a very, very powerful energy. It's kind of like, um, you know, in manifestation, when they say you're supposed to feel as if it's already there, that's exactly what you're doing here in the recent past. You're feeling the happiness. You're feeling the calm. You're feeling the balanced energy as if you're already in this soul connection, as if you're already in this divine connection with this person. And again, that truly, truly does make you so, so happy with the Ten of Cups here. Let's take a look at the Ace of Wands in the recent past for you. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Three of Wands. That's a lot of wands. So you remember how I said you're feeling that happiness here? You are, but again, you're not in that connection yet. You don't have that new beginning yet. And that's kind of what's a little bit difficult for you. You're showing me like, I expect it to feel this already. I expect it to already be in this exciting, positive energy. And it kind of weighs on you that you're not there yet. You're not losing hope. You're showing me like, I know I'll get there. I know we're going to be in this beautiful, positive energy. But the fact that you're not there yet is kind of bombing you out a little bit in the recent past. It's, it's not bumming you out. It's more so just like weighing on you. Like, why is it not there yet? Why is it taking so long? Let's take a look at the current situation, Gemini. I want to see what the Queen of Pentacles is all about. Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Judgment, and the Five of Cups. Yeah. So you and your person communicate. There's some communication happening here in the current situation. So I don't know if you guys are just like radio silent in the recent past, but there is communication happening in the current situation. And talking to this person, communicating with them really makes you realize two things. One, I really regret how the past unfolded. I wish the situation between us was different. I wish things unfolded differently. I wish they were more positive than what they are. And two, it also makes you realize that you want to resurrect this. You want to bring this back. But you're also showing me the decision, like me coming to this realization, me coming to this decision, it's not from a place of pain or loss or anything like that. Quite the opposite. It's coming from a place of me truly feeling grounded and balanced and stable within myself and knowing that like that's the energy that I want to be making decisions from. And that's how you come to this realization. So again, very, very powerful, transformative reading for you this month. It's like there is another connection here, but it's a lot of internal processes going on for you that, that are brought about as a result of this other person that you're interacting with. All right, Gemini, let's see Eight of Cups in the current situation. Eight of Cups is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You and this person are interacting. You're rebuilding this foundation. I do see you and somebody else interacting with each other, so there is another energy here. You're, you're working on two things. One, rebuilding the foundation between the two of you, but two, also making sure that there's balance, making sure that what you give energetically to this person in this connection, you're also getting from this person on this connection. So it's not just one directional or like you give, 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 and you're not getting anything in return. However, there is a very, very slow moving energy here because someone is detached. It's someone is kind of like maintaining a protective emotional distance from this whole process. They do still want balance. They do still want to rebuild here, but they're, they're doing it from a like emotionally detached place because that's what gives them an energy of stability. And I don't know if this is you or your person. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, this is more than likely their energy. Let's take a look at the page of wands in the current situation. See what all this hopeful energy is about. Page of Wands is clarified by the Four of Cups, the Strength, and the Queen of Swords. There is positive vibes happening here. You and your person are interacting. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel excited. It makes you feel positive. And this is you. However, you're also very, very disappointed that that's all this is. You're showing me like it's fun. We interact. We hang out. But I want more. Like what I'm getting right now is not enough for me. This connection is not deep enough for me yet. 
you're looking for more depth and that's kind of disappointing to you and you're showing me like it's hard for me it's hard for me to keep this in like the shallow end or like the fun playful energies because I'm looking for more I'm looking for more depth um, again bottom of the deck you get the moon you don't know exactly where this is going you don't know how this is all going to evolve but the current situation it is a little bit difficult for you that you guys are just interacting on such a superficial or casual level let's look at the near future see if this changes because I do see the queen of cups here so the emotion definitely develops but let's see let's start off with the nine of wands in the near future Nine of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Swords, which is the main energy for your reading, the Queen of Cups, which you get again here in the near future, and the Knight of Swords. Yep. So following this ending, whatever ended, you ended it, they ended it, whatever, the love is still very much there. And you're showing me I'm taking action based on this emotion. I'm taking action based on the fact that I know we still love each other. I know we still care for each other. However, your person is quite resistant. I do see... Um, some boundaries some walls being set up so it's not just like you know it all just flows everything works it's super easy there is some resistance here so in the near future if you feel like you guys are progressing in a good direction but you still feel like you keep meeting wall 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 it's not um it, it's to be expected is basically what i'm getting at like don't be shocked at this it seems like the walls are there but the love is also very much there so let's clarify the queen of cups in the near future Queen of Cups is clarified by the High Priestess, which you get again in the near future, the Devil and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. It's hard. It's difficult. There is somebody here, whether it's you or your person or the both of you together, um, which may possibly carry some unhealthy behavioral patterns here, but this is a new beginning. You guys are starting over and it's really coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of I love you, you love me, and that's how we're able to have this new beginning. Yes, you still get the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. There are a bunch of unknowns. There are a bunch of things here which you don't know, you're not clear on, but you're getting there. You're getting there. It's not going to be shroud and mystery for the rest of, you know, the, the energy of this connection. Let's take a look at the High Priestess in the near future here. High Priestess is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Wands, which you got in the same row in the current situation. Yeah, you're recognizing that your heart is opening up, but more importantly, you're recognizing that your person's heart is opening up. You're recognizing that the walls have gone from a nine to a seven. They've decreased in intensity. Your person's more open. They're more receptive to you. They're more communicative with you. It's, it's that fun, exciting energy, right, is also being supplemented, not just with fun, but with some emotion. Again, it's not deep, deep emotion. I don't feel like this person's coming in and confessing and professing their endless love for you. But you guys are definitely making progress. So what seems to be difficult for you in the current situation turns into a very, very big positive for you in the near future. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind for this mid-month reading, Gemini. From the universe, you get the Five of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Strength. Yes. You keep looking back at the past. You're like, we were like this. We did this. This is how we talked. This is how we hung out. This is how we felt towards each other. Why is it so much less now? And again, it's to be expected, Gemini, right? You guys went through a breakup or a separation. People are not just going to dive headfirst back into this. There is some resistance. There is them being cautious. But you're showing me like we were so loving and connected and emotional and communicative in the past. And now it's basically like we're just strangers and we just met and we have to start all over again. And that's really, really what's difficult for you here. But Gemini, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you here on the next one.